Welcome back to the Rolls of Monmouth. Tenth tee, a little dog leg to the left and up the hill. But don't get suckered into trying to draw the ball because if you go left, you're in bother. Now the yardage today is 6,283, I think it is. The uh, competition tees are closed to visitors. You can only play them as members. And uh, I'm pretty grateful for that because the... Uh, where am I pointing? Because the white tee's over there. Yeah, this, this holds about another 50 yards. So uh, I'm happy to play the yellows. Now the best way I can describe the back nine is don't hit your ball past the flag and leave yourself a downhiller. All right, so there isn't that much fire in the greens today. Although with this sun out, they are drying out and getting a bit quicker. But uh, yeah, don't hit it past the flag. Back nine is separated uh, from the front nine by a large hill and it has a completely different flavor completely different challenge and um, If you were here on a society day and loads of golf societies come here. It is very very popular In fact, they come here and they play 36 holes. They have 18 in the morning because they got over a hundred golf carts in in the shed there and people do hire them I mean I have because it's a bit of a walk but uh, they come here, they play 18 early in the morning, they have a spot of lunch, soup and sandwiches, that sort of thing, play 18 in the afternoon and then have an evening meal in the, uh, in the mansion house. The snacks are in the, uh, is in Mr. Rolls's workshop, that acts as the clubhouse, but the, uh, the mansion proper serves the evening meals and the wedding dues and all that sort of thing. So this is a very popular place and that's why I got the first tea time of the day. Said, don't leave yourself any downhillers. They're not much easier coming back up either. Anyway, very happy to continue getting past. 11th next, and we've got some choices to make. Number 11, 304 yards. You can't quite see the green, it's behind those oak trees. So you can hit a mid iron here down onto the flat. And then uh, a shorter iron over the top of the oak trees. Lost ball, left. Ditch down here. A lot of tall grass down there on the right. So it, it's time to play it safe. Number 12, par five. This is a tough one. It's not a long hole, but I can see it's up, it's up the hill. You've got to get your drive away here in the middle. 
and then the whole dog leg's left over the top of this oak tree. So you better hit a good one. Yeah, this is a tough one. And the green is a nightmare. Yeah, right off the toe, but it's safe and it's through, so the par is on. I meant to hit it high and over the top of that oak, but I just haven't got it today with this injury. Right, I've got 96 yards. I'm going with a pitching wedge because it's uphill and the wind's blowing a bit. The flag is here on the right in the uh, son of a bitch position, so the par still is not guaranteed. It just doesn't stop by the hole. It's always got to carry on a little bit more. So now the greens are drying out. <laughs> they are really showing their teeth. Sorry about this. Yeah, good camera work, Si. You won't think anyone would get excited about getting a par five, but this is one tough hole. Right, we got one of Greg's par threes next. You'll like this one. There's a few things you can't see from where the camera was on the tee box back up there. Like for instance, the trees over here and a big, big bunker. Sorry for spinning it around quickly, just to get it done quickly. There's water at the back and down the side. And there's water in front. Now I just pitched on the front, but uh, it came back off, unfortunately. Let's have a chip. A lot of slope on this green.
yeah, around here, especially on the back nine, you treat the little ones with some serious respect. It's a good job they aren't up to speed because um, I really would be shooting a lot over par, as you can imagine. Because uh, playing ordinary golf courses, you're not used to greens like this. And putts can very easily get away from you. And chips. Right, 14, not a long hole, but it's uphill and it's back into the breeze. I'd normally hit a three wood here, but uh, I'm taking the driver. Dog legs left, round here a little bit. But you don't want to go left because you're in bother. So we, all we want to do is knock it up there onto the veranda and uh, have a mid iron in really, seven or an eight perhaps. One of the great things about not having an ego over what club you take is that you end up taking the correct club for the shot. So I had 121 uphill into this breeze which is strengthening. I'm not swinging very well because I'm stiff. So I've hit a 7 iron. There aren't many people who would admit to hitting a 7 iron from 121. And I'm still short. Still, it's an uphill putt then, isn't it? One of the uh, downsides of using a golf cart is you're driving too quick. The world is passing by too quick. You don't always get the time to uh, drink in the sights of a beautiful place like this. So I'm basically stopping every now and then and just looking around. There's no one behind me, so um, might as well enjoy what I can see. Number 15, it's a 90 degree dog leg to the left. If you go left off the tee, you've lost your ball and you can't see much. So it's a, it's a bit of a guessing game out there. Still, I should be able to remember where to go. I really enjoyed that one. You might be able to tell. Right, number 16 is 355. There's a ditch across the fairway here at an angle. That's about 225 away. The green is up here behind the tree, so anything down the right, you're completely blocked out. Now there used to be a very large tree over here, 
but that seems to have come down so I'm hitting three wood because I'm not hitting the ball very far I'm gonna go down the left I don't care if I'm in the left rough I just want a view into the green and the greens an absolute doozy I won the longest drive down this 17th once, not today, I've hit these trees behind me. I was expecting the wind to push that uh, ball to the right much more. The only thing I can say about this second shot is you have to keep left. So I've walked forward to the ridge and I've picked my line, but the lie wasn't great so I haven't hit the hybrid well. So I'm going to have much longer in than I anticipated. The green's well over to the right, it's set at a funny angle and it's protected by a really nasty bunker and if you go long you go off the back so you have to hit certainly a very precise third shot. I'm not sure I'm capable of that today. The 18th hole, 168 yards, back towards the mansion house, over water, there's a ditch all the way down the side here. I'm sure that Greg probably played it from one of the tee boxes up here, there's over 200. Uh, you can go long, obviously, but then you're chipping back down the hill. I don't know what club to take, because I'm not striking it well. It ought to be a flush six iron, but I have this funny feel, well, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to take a five, perhaps even a four. Mm -hmm. 